Well everyone, I've got a good bit of motherboard news for you today, from the new Intel X299 enthusiast platform boards to a new Ryzen Mini ITX, as well as some pretty insane new information on Intel's upcoming X-series processors. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. Before we get started, don't forget about the GamerMeld Discord server. We have some pretty awesome hardware and gaming conversations, so why not join us by following the link in the description. So, ASRock has made a pretty big announcement for this year's Computex by revealing a few new motherboards. First up is our new flagship Intel X299 motherboards, the Fatality X299 Professional Gaming i9 and the X299 Killer SLIAC. Both are extremely high performance motherboards and include three 32 gigabit per second M.2 slots, Intel 802.11ac Wi-Fi, and three-way SLI and Crossfire. The Fatality Gaming i9 features the Aquantia 10 gigabit Ethernet. Obviously very few people have 10 gigabit speeds, but for those who do, this is definitely a great board to look at. According to video cards, it also includes a high power delivery of 12 volts at 3 amps through the USB 3.1 Type-C onboard header, so fast phone charging is certainly possible with this. The Gaming i9 offers 10 SATA 3 ports, while the Killer SLI offers 8. Next up is Azerox X299 Mini ITX board. You can see the board actually offers quite a bit, from 6 SATA 3 ports to dual band 802.11ac Wi-Fi, dual gigabit LAN ports, and according to the press release, Bluetooth 4.2. Not only that, but you can see it also has three M.2 slots. It does look like I can see one on the PCB extender, thanks to an image provided by a user in the Discord server, but the other two may be on the back of the board. Either way, impressive for such a tiny board. These last motherboards that I go over are something many of you have really been asking for. New Mini ITX AM4 motherboards. The two new boards are called the Fatality X370 and B350 Gaming ITX AC. According to their press release, they offer 802.11ac Wi-Fi, two HDMI ports, and 7.1 channel with Realtek ALC1220 codec. So definitely some great boards coming from Azerock. We haven't heard anything on a release, but that information should be coming soon. Lastly for today is some pretty huge news coming from video cards. Apparently they got a hold of some leaked slides that give us even more indication that there's a new i9 CPU, as well as possibly upping the ante on the new X299 platform, since we originally thought the CPUs would only go up to 10 cores. But it appears Intel just might have a trick up its sleeve with what shows to be CPUs all the way up to 18 cores using a variety of SKUs for a huge lineup. So it's clear the battle for high performance desktops is only just beginning. The question is of course price. If Intel can keep prices lower than their past offerings, AMD might be in trouble. Of course, could they even get it as low as AMD? Let me know what you think in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.